Today you'll learn how to get back home using only the navigation radios. You have control of the airplane. Fly straight and level, heading 240 degrees at 6,500 feet at 90 knots. How do we navigate with radios? Three letters, V-O-R. VOR stands for VHF Omnidirectional Range, which is a radio system that lets you navigate along invisible paths extending from VOR stations on the ground. You will use two types of equipment for VOR navigation. You will use the navigation radios to tune VOR frequencies. The NAV1 and NAV2 radios are located on the right side of the two COM NAV radios at the top of the radio stack in the center of the instrument panel. Then use the VOR indicator to see your position relative to a particular course to or from the tuned VOR station. In this airplane, there are two VOR indicators, one for each navigation radio. This allows you to triangulate your position and to smoothly turn from one course to another. Take a look at the second VOR indicator just to the left of the radios in the second row of instruments. To fly along a particular course, you'll rotate the Omni Bearing Selector, or OBS knob, until that course is at the top of the indicator. If the little triangle on the right side of the indicator is pointing up, it means flying the same heading as the selected course will take you to the VOR station. If the triangle is pointed down, flying the same heading as the selected course will take you away from the station. The NAV2 radio is currently tuned to the Flagstaff VOR, and the course is currently set to 240. The course deviation indicator needle shows the airplane's position relative to that course, and the two-stroke from flag tells you whether flying that course will take you to or from the tuned VOR station. Right now, the flag is indicating from, so if we fly the selected course 240 degrees, we'll head away from the VOR station. To fly the selected course, turn to that heading and notice where the needle is. If the needle is deflected slightly to the left like it is now, it means that the selected course is to your left. When the needle is to the right, the course is to the right. And when the needle is straight up and down, it means you're on course. Make a slight left turn to intercept the 240 degree course from the VOR station. A heading of 200 should do the trick. Good, you're all set. Now just wait until the needle centers. As soon as it does, 
Turn left to a heading of 170 degrees to fly that course to the Drake VOR. The needle is alive. Hold your heading until we get closer. Start turning to 170 degrees now. Slow down a bit, let's cruise at 90 knots for this flight. Turn to 170 degrees to intercept the 170 degree course to the VOR. Job. Now, just track this course until we get to the VOR. As we get closer, the needle will get more sensitive, so do your best to keep it exactly lined up. If the needle moves left, turn left slightly until it centers, then turn back to 170 degrees to track it.
Aircraft flying under instrument flight rules fly on the thousands, while aircraft flying visually fly on the thousands plus 500 feet. The rule only applies to aircraft flying more than 3,000 feet above ground level. We're lower than that, so it doesn't apply to us. Though generally, it's a good idea to stick to it any time you're cruising. stack you'll see a distance labeled NM, which is the distance to the selected VOR in nautical miles. Since the distance includes our altitude, it's not a completely accurate measure of location, but it's useful if you want to know about how far you are from a VOR. We're approaching Prescott's airspace, so I'll call out the tower and get our landing clearance. Prescott Tower, Cherokee 109 or Sierra Hotel is seven miles northwest, inbound for landing. We're practicing VOR tracking. Request overflight of the airport to land on 30. Cherokee 109 or Sierra Hotel, Prescott Tower. Prescott altimeter 299 or two. It's a slow day. Request approved. Report two miles west. We'll report two miles west. Cherokee Niner, Sierra Hotel. Alright, we're 
receiving the VOR signal again. country flight. 